Yo guys, what up? So back again with another quick little tip for Blender Octane materials. Now this one I've learned from um, basically reverse engineering some of the Pixel Lab materials. Again, if you're interested in Pixel Lab materials, links down below. They make some of the best Blender Octane materials out right now at the moment. They're absolutely fantastic. But I wanna go into quickly showing you what I've kind of found out here. I have this general material here and it's nothing special. I'm using a glossy material on here. And you can see, I mean, this looks pretty nice, right? But I found this and I've seen this technique used on some other files that I was looking at. Um, I had some a 3D shaker asset and he makes a lot of stuff for like architectural design. And he was using this same workflow here and really giving this texture a lot more richness. So take a look at it. First thing what we're gonna do here, we're gonna add an RGB image in here. We're gonna add RGB color. And this is going to allow us just, I'm gonna take this color and drop it over here. And what I wanna do is plug that into the diffuse. Now that make, it does the exact same thing, Kate. Okay? Now what we're gonna do is take a multiply node, a multiply texture, sorry. I'm gonna drop that in between here. And then what we're going to do is add in a, a fall off node. Now I've also seen this done in cycles too. But you know, just for those people who are out there who think for some reason that you can't do a lot of the stuff you do in cycles in Octane, you can. So we're gonna take this fall off node, which is basically a layer weight node for us in Octane. We're gonna plug that into here. And then right off the back, you can see what it's kind of not like doing what we want it to do. So then we just come in here and change our values. I'm gonna take this and go like maybe 0.9. And then we're gonna take this value and zero it out. Okay, now what they do, if you look at the difference here, look how much it just really gives that, that glossiness, a lot more richness and a lot more, to me, depth in the material. You know, let me quickly show you uh, the before and after. Let me go ahead and store this really fast here. So here is what we've got now. And then I'm gonna go ahead and mute this here just so you can see the difference. And you can kind of, you can see clearly it's, it's a subtle difference, but it's a difference. I mean, look here how much more to me rich and, and it looks richer right compared to here where it's just kind of like a flat plane not flat but you can clearly see the difference between the two here so let's even go ahead and change up the color let's maybe go with a different color here something uh, on the more on a lighter scale here and then I'm gonna go ahead and release this here for a second so we'll go ahead and store this with the with the the fall off map off and then I'm gonna go ahead and turn this back on and there it is again, you can clearly see the difference. It does make a difference. So next time you're building out materials and you just wanna give it that, you know, to, uh, these little one percents really help you to make your materials look that much more realistic. So definitely try this setup here. I'll quickly show you guys on screen here. It's not that difficult of a setup. Mainly this is the, the key portion of it right here. Multiplying this color over this fall off map and then again the rest of this is just you know whatever your map your material is going to be but it definitely just does give you a little bit more of a realistic looking like more material